How much do you enjoy your work? Like seriously, how, how much joy do you, here's kind of I think how you know is if, if your first day of your work week is Monday, how do you feel on Sunday right around 3 p.m.? Do you start to look forward to Monday or do you dread Monday? Um, here's what I think start to happen is when you dread your work, you start to dread your week. And if you have enough weeks that you don't like, at some point you don't like your life. <laughs> I think that God wants you to enjoy life. I actually think that he made you in a way that there's something that you do that when you do it, you not only spread joy to others, but you actually get joy from doing it. And you're actually good at it. It meets needs and it actually will help provide for your family. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know what it is. I just know this. You were created to do some kind of a good work. And um, Jesus was given a good work to do. I want to ask you a question. What kind of carpenter do you think Jesus was? Do you think he was the kind of carpenter that did like shoddy work that you're like, what did you just do? I mean, you need a new career. And that's where he said, I think I'll be the Messiah. No, I actually think that Jesus was a good carpenter and he did good work. Because when you look at everything that Jesus did, he finished. In fact, in John chapter 17, verse 4, there's a great scripture and it says this. I brought, this is Jesus praying and it's right before he goes to the cross. He says, I brought you glory here on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. I believe this. All of us have work every week in a good work that God wants us to do. And God wants each of us to be finishers, to finish the work and to do it well. There's one moment where Jesus is talking about somebody who, you know, starts a work and, and they get halfway through and then they don't finish it. And he's like, look at that halfway done house. It doesn't look right. It doesn't, it doesn't speak well of, of Christ. And I just wonder how many half finished jobs that didn't get done well. None of that brings glory to God. What if you started to see this is that your work was done differently? Like I want to ask you this question. Why do you work? Uh, one of my first jobs in college was at a paint store. And that's probably the first time that I realized there's people that hate their job. I'd had jobs before. I worked at a bakery, worked in the grocery store. I'd done some demolition, had a paper out. But for some reason at that paint store, that's where I recognized there's people that hate their jobs. They hate their week and they only work to get to Friday. And then they're just going to drink as much as they can and do whatever on the weekends and come back on Monday and go, oh, I have to do it again. I can remember one of the guys at the paint store and for him, it was all about the paycheck. He only worked for the paycheck. You know, another day, another dollar. And that's what it was all about. And for him, I mean, he was trying to get out of work. He, you know, he took every smoke break. He would never help somebody else out. He would never sacrifice, wouldn't go further if a teammate needed some help. He was just there to get his paycheck, and that's just what it was. And the thing is, not only did he not enjoy his work, but no one enjoyed working with him. Then there was a guy at that same paint store that for some reason he felt like God had placed him there and he had like a calling at that workplace. And he would go above and beyond and help others and um, came with his whole attitude of just like, and for him, the customers walking in, that was part of his job. Not just the paint that they needed, but their whole experience. I mean, think about, they were gonna maybe paint their house or paint something and they were gonna be able to maybe enjoy something and he wanted to help them enjoy it to the fullest. And it's interesting, everyone liked working with that person and that person got promoted. <laughs> what if you do something different about your week? This challenge is called Take Back Mondays. And Take Back Mondays is about reclaiming joy of work. Uh, it's interesting is um, the Bible tells us that when we work, we actually work for God and we work for his glory. Jesus said it right here. I brought you glory by completing the work. What if you saw your work as doing number one, glorifying God, that you actually worship with your work. Secondly, what if you begin to see your work as blessing others, that the, when you work and you use your gifts, you're actually, actually blessing somebody else and you're serving somebody else. Third, what if you saw your work as creating something, that every Monday God's saying, hey, here's a blank sheet, a blank palette, here's a blank canvas, fill it in and do something with this and create art. And when you create art with your work, it might be the way you serve, the way you help, the way you love, how you treat customers, how you treat, uh, treat the people that you work with, um, how it is you serve your boss. If you are the boss, it's how you create an environment that people love and they thrive and they grow. And it's not just their jobs that grow, but they grow. 
Uh, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10 says this, that we are God's workmanship, that as we work, God works in us. Do you see that? That as you work, God is working in you. We are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works. God has really good work for you to do. And as you do his good work, God does a good work inside of you. I want to pray this week as you take this challenge and you do it with your wild dogs, your group, as you're going through this. I want you to think about this. What's your attitude right now on a scale of one to 10 and 10 being the highest? What's your attitude about your work? And what if this week that attitude changed and got higher, went up one step, two steps, three steps, three numbers, whatever it is. And what if you prayed, God, this Monday, give me a new attitude about work. Help me to enjoy work. Help me to spread your joy through my work and help me to see how you're working in me as I work. Can we pray together? Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this opportunity to work and the people we get to work with and the people who come into our workplaces. Every one of these people matter to you and you're doing a great work in this, in this world and you want us to be a part of it and we need to complete this work. Be, we need to finish it and finish it well and do it great that the best workers need to be your people. So God, would you help our students be the best students? Help our workers be the best workers. Our employees be the best employees. The employers be the best employers. And to do it all for your glory and help us to spread your kingdom in our workplaces and get back the joy of doing a good job. In Jesus' name, amen.